The black belly of the tarantula is one of those giallos that always pops up on the best of lists when I, I, I research what I'm going to try and find next. It's one that I've wanted to see for a while. Now, uh, the, the basic story revolves around Inspector Tinelli, a man who is deeply unhappy with his career. He doesn't really like being a police officer. He's quite good at it, but he doesn't really like a lot of the aspects that come with it. And he is having this all through the movie, wondering whether it's the career for really for him, wanting to quit quite often. And he's investigating these series of murders. There is some masked man out there who is inserting these needles into women's necks, paralysing them, and then cutting open their stomachs in rather brutal sequences. The first one we see getting taken out is Barbara Boucher, who's in the movie for maybe 10 minutes before she is decimated at the start of this movie. Later on, midway through the movie, we encounter a man who deals with insects and spiders and he tells Inspector Tinelli a story of this wasp that fights this tarantula that happens quite often in nature. And the wasp kills the tarantula and plants larvae into its belly and then the larvae eat the tarantula while it's still kind of alive, disemboweling it and then becoming something new out of that. And... That's kind of what the killer is doing to these victims. But it also is what's happening to Tinelli as well. His wife uh, has moved into the, the flat. She is decimating the place, ripping out all the furniture, selling it and wants to start anew. And it kind of parallels both uh, the case in his life and his actual general life as well. And he's just kind of unhappy with the way things are going on. Loves his wife, um, loves aspects of his career, but parts of it, uh, the fact that she's ripping out the house and the fact that he has to deal with these brutal murders and, and, and things are things that are deeply unhappy to him. And I really like that aspect of the movie that we're following a character who really seems um, different than most of other uh, inspectors or the detectives that I see. He's not um, fully driven. Um, he has faults and quirks he's not 100 percent happy with his job and i think that adds to the realistic nature of that character now the murders themselves are extremely brutal and horrible as you see this man wrestle and physically hold down these women and push these needles into the back of their neck it's a horrible idea and then the big knife and slowly cutting them open while they're paralyzed but can still know what's happening to them is just disgusting, both torturous, you know, physically and mentally for the victims. And you just wonder why it's all going on. And there is a subplot going on here of blackmail going through. There is a health centre which becomes um, quite prominent in the story where people are being blackmailed. People have been having sex and have had pictures taken of them uh, and they're being uh, blackmailed for large sums of money. And that comes into part of the tale as well. I really liked Black Belly of the Tarantula. I loved the performance of Giancarlo Gianni uh, as Tinelli. I thought he was wonderful. And I think he's one that really ties the movie together. The way he is constantly hunting things down, the faults that the character has is just great. And I love some of the things that happen to him. Uh, there is a moment where it's quite clear that he's investigating these murders and starting to get a bit close to certain people and they decide to start getting out leverage. So they film him and his wife uh, having sex one day um, from an apartment block across the way. And he never really finds out about it. Things happen and they don't get a chance to blackmail him. But they discover this film in a dead body's flat. Uh, they have it. Um, processed and then when they're showing it to all the police officers one day they all see that it's him having sex and he's just kind of slowly sinking into his seat just like this I hate this, I hate this job I hate everything about it before standing up and just stopping it while all his uh, co-workers just mock him relentlessly it's just one of these things that just adds to the, the, the creation of a character and that's what really drives it forward there's some wonderful chase sequences in this one as well, the, the one where they go up this spiral staircase onto a roof of a building and they're chasing each other throughout it is wonderfully shot and executed and it's just a, a really well done giallo movie, a procedural that has a case where you're wanting to figure out 
how it's going to get solved. Uh, you've got a character at the heart of it who you really are engaged with and enjoy. You get his home life. You're wondering how that is kind of going to resolve itself. And you've got a crisis of conscience within the lead character. Someone who is trying to find the perpetrator of a crime who might not like the job that he's in and is wondering whether he's really suited to that kind of job, of which we know he is because he's kind of dogged and good at his position. Wonderful side characters, uh, wonderful red herrings across the way and one of those crazy reveals at the end of it. You don't really have any evidence to figure out who the killer is. Now, I kind of thought it could be this person um, just because that seemed like a wacky choice and it, 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 the movie kind of felt as if it was going to go for a wacky choice. But there's no really, you know, everything's given after the fact. We've got all the exposition to explain why this person was doing what they were doing and you're just like, enough is enough. In fact, the character actually says that I'm, I'm not interested, I've, I've, I'm done, I've had enough of this, I don't need to know any more. It, it was just, um, just, just crazy reveals. You know, it sometimes happens in these giallo where you, you, there, there's absolutely no way you could solve the mystery yourself. It's just all put in a platter for you at the end. But the black belly of the tarantula was incredibly fun, really engaging, with a wonderful character at the heart of it. I really enjoyed it, and I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie if you've seen it. Let me know in the comment box below, and I'll see you next time from Man V Film.